you and the holidays are upon us. They are a chance to spend some great time with our family, but we can't forget our pets, right? Howlin at the Moon Bakery and Boutique in Winston-Salem has some tips and activities to make this an extra special holiday season for the furry friend in your life. I'd like to welcome Sierra Boyer now. She's the owner of Howlin at the Moon Bakery and Boutique. Sierra, great to have you here. Hey, nice to see you. Hi. So let's start out with kind of our pets roaming around at holiday gatherings, right? If they're well behaved, then we'll keep them out <laughs> and about to mingle <laughs> with our loved ones. But are there certain things that you absolutely say that we should not feed them and things that we are allowed to feed them? Yeah, um, so let's start out with the things that we should not feed them. Um, obviously, chocolate is on the top of that list um, forever and always. Um, cooked bones, um, they're actually, they could splinter the stomach and cause some lacerations. So that's probably something that we want to avoid. Um, anything with xylitol, um, you know, some peanut butters, um, candy, things like that, um, definitely stay away from. Um, things that we can feed our pet, um, carrots, cooked or raw, sweet potatoes are a great option. Um, make sure that none of this has, you know, excess seasonings and butter and stuff like that. Um, if you do want to give your pet some turkey, um, that's fine. Just make sure it's not the skin. Make sure it's not the fatty part. Um, just, you know, some lean meat would be good. That was really helpful. I like your um, graphic there as well. Um, what about things, speaking of food that they can eat, do you have a recipe for us, I hear, that we can actually feed them during the holiday season? Yeah, yeah, this one is a, it's a pretty simple recipe. Um, it's banana and peanut butter, um, most of which, you know, most dogs really love. Um, so you just take one cup of oats, it could be, um, rolled oats or old fashioned oats, quick oats. Um, and then um, three tables or three teaspoons of peanut butter, one mashed egg, or I'm sorry, <laughs> one mashed banana and an egg. You mix all those ingredients together and set them aside for about five minutes. You preheat the oven to about 350 degrees. You line a, um, a baking sheet with uh, parchment paper and then um, bake for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. Um, they're good for about three to five days at room temperature and about a week um, in the refrigerator or up to six months in the, fr in the freezer. Sierra, this recipe is reminding me, so I made like little breakfast muffins that were exactly that basically for myself <laughs> to bring to work. And I accidentally left the whole tray on the counter and I came back and my dog ate 24 of them. They were the, roll, the rolled oats, just exactly like what you said, because of the peanut butter she loved. Yeah, I was absolutely. very upset. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's you know, it's definitely a snack that you could share uh, with your pet too. So it's you know, it's good for 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 the holidays. Oh, that's great. Um, so tell me about how Helen at the Moon Bakery, um, how you guys help give back this holiday season and how people can help. I want to hear more about your boutique and kind of what uh, inspired you to open it up. Yeah, so we, we opened about three weeks ago. Um, we have over 20 different um, small businesses featured selling dog and cat related items um, for the whole family. Um, every month we, we're going to keep our Christmas tree up back here every, you know, year round. So every month we will highlight a different rescue organization. Right now we're, uh, rest or we're highlighting, uh, for Psych Humane Society. Um, we will donate a portion of the bakery proceeds, um, and then as well as any donations that we receive from the public. Um, so we'll have a little basket out here and we uh, send them donations about every week just so they could get them because I know they could use them, you know, as soon as possible. I love that. And congratulations. You're so recently open and new to our area. Yeah, thank you. That's great. And I know you guys will be very successful. Um, I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that you joined us on the local vibe. Thank you for your time, Sarah. 
Thank you. You're welcome. And folks at home, remember you can find that pet friendly, delicious cookie recipe online at triadcw.com. You can find more information about Howlin' at the Moon Boutique and Bakery. That website is on your screen as well. Or you can give them a visit on Canal Drive in Winston-Salem.